Hi everyone, my name is Dash Desai and I'm a lead developer advocate here at Snowflake. In the previous segments, we saw how you can load large data sets with millions of rows into Snowpark data frames. And then use Snowpark for data transformations, including user-defined functions. In this final segment of this three-part series on Snowpark for Data Engineering, I'll be showing you how to use Snowpark Python store procedures. These store procedures help data engineers operationalize their Python code and run, orchestrate, and schedule their pipelines. I'll show you an example of store procedure in Snowpark using the same Amazon review data set as in my previous videos. Okay, let's get started. To use store procedures, first I want to create a Python function called process Amazon reviews that will aggregate all the transformations we have done so far in the last two segments of this demo series. This includes loading records for 8.7 million movies and TV reviews, musical, and 1.5 musical instrument reviews, and, and then combine those records into an Amazon reviews data frame with 10 million records. Then replacing the missing values for review text with not available. Then calling a natural language processing UDF on the review text column to tokenize the Amazon reviews. And finally, saving all of that data, including tokens, in a new column in a brand new table. Now I want to register the process Amazon reviews Python function that we just created to deploy the code to Snowflake. I can do that with session.sproc.registerapi. Now, store procedures are created once and executed many times with a simple call statement. Here, I'll call the process Amazon Review Store procedure I just created to transform the Amazon Reviews data in Snowflake. Now, all of that processing on about 10 million rows only took 15.9 seconds on a 6XL warehouse. That's pretty amazing. Now we can examine the new table and look at the results. On the left, we see the reviews, and on the right are the corresponding tokens for each review. This row procedure loaded the 10 million records, called the UDF on every single row to create tokens for Amazon review text, and then wrote 10 million records along with the tokens generated as a new column in a brand new table. And all of this was done on a six Excel warehouse in less than 20 seconds, which is pretty incredible. Now these warehouses start up in only a few seconds and can scale to accommodate practically any number of jobs. All of this is based on consumption-based pricing, so you only pay for what you use. This is just one quick example to show how easy it is to go from development to production of pipelines built in Snowpark for Python. That concludes our three-part demo series on Snowpark for Python for data engineering. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.